If you want to see a full reaction to this video, become a donor on our Patreon. Hi, Angels! Oh, welcome back. So, Van Tamed. I am moving along, little by little. I gotten to episode 40 right now, so in the middle of episode 40. So hopefully I do have some days off. Well, this is today. What's today? November 13th. So I'm going to have a few days off. So hopefully I will be able to catch up to more episodes and stuff. I don't know why I have my phone in my hand. So today we are going to be checking out Zhou Shen. And um, so, okay, I finally got into the episode where we passed the villain. Yes, I was super excited. I actually almost forgot about him completely because he was like up there in the very beginning. And then I kind of like, eh, okay, whatever. And then like pff, nothing, everything like just like the mind went completely different direction. They made you just not even think about him whatsoever. And until later on, I'm like, it's like, I'm like, hold on. Are they going to be talking about that one guy that I don't remember the name of? But I totally remember the face because I think he's got a really cute, nice, evil face at least in this drama and stuff okay so um i'm gonna try to pronounce some of these things so of course so this one is the translation will be uh okay so it's a uh, Huan chen du that translates into deserted city which kind of makes sense because they were they're like you know lived in that coffin coffin town i think is what it's called coffin town Something like that. Uh, so this is uh, the villain that Xu Yang. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Like I try to, and then you know, of course, they use their names like with their own accent, and I'm just like, I can't do this, you know. But okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. There are closed captions. Um, I doubt I will cry through that one like I did with the other one. <laughs> Just in case for the whole session of The Untamed, I got tissues, but I doubt it. this one's going to happen. Although I really like the story. And okay, let's go ahead and give it a go and listen to Shou Shan too. Okay, it's going to be sad and depressing. <laughs> Cuteness, hi. Oh, stop giving me these emotions. I love him. I don't like him. I kind of like him. I... Holding a candy to warm. The whole thing was just so sad. You will ultimately become clear. I do like his weapon, though. <sighs> oh. Inner demons. Oh, okay, it's getting to be depressing now. Mm. And Zhou Shen's voice, I mean, you wouldn't expect it to be the thing for this. Oh, so sad. Hmm. And he didn't recognize him. Didn't felt for Give them potatoes to him. Mm. 
I mean, he's a great evil character. That was that was so sad. No, he was not. All over again. relationship thing that was happening there you know i mean i okay like i said before i like my villains you know i like the bad guys as well because all of them have have their own past their own struggles their own way of thinking and it's usually they start out good you know and then something happens and they think negative and there's nobody out there to help them to put them like make them think the right way type of a thing you know so and that's where they just kind of like do their own thing and wrong like some of their excuses are just like absolutely just should not be a thing to go that evil you know and that's why i really love the character um i mean i feel a little sad you know for the like the way it end you know his end and stuff it's it felt like he was still, you know, like a child that, like, probably just needed someone there for him, you know? Like, that he never had anybody, and I don't know, I'm just, why I feel bad for bad guys? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, whenever, especially in the very beginning, whenever he was like, hey, I'm here, it's like, I don't want any of your stuff. I just want to, like, I have my own mission, like, I'm, you know, I'm not looking forward, like, I'll work for you, but I have my own goals type of a thing, you know, and his, his looks and, like, the visual of his evilness is absolutely fantastic, I'm telling you, this whole series has such amazing, strong artists, you know, they're, the, the emotions, the rage, the sadness, the happiness is so, just, it's like real life like you know it's fantastic i absolutely love every single person you know evil i love the straight up evil not those like that act like they're good you know and doing things for the good and thinking about people but deep inside they're little conniving little weasels i hate those i don't like those and i i mean i don't know if i'll feel bad in the end or not but we'll get to that once i get there like i said i'm on episode 40 right now so i'm actually only have like 10 ish to go so i'm very excited yet i'm almost don't want to you know stop stop it i'm thinking about picking up a novel everybody's been you know saying that they've read it and stuff like that i don't know how long the novel is and i wonder you know like how the relationships between certain people that the show in the uh, live action is in the novel and stuff so but I also forgot about the other ones as well, you know, the one like the blind, I can't remember the names, you know, I can't get used to a lot of these names because sometimes they also have like, you know, several names, like, you know, they have like their like, I don't know, like a formal name and other names and stuff. So it's a little bit hard for me to keep up with that. You know, like the one with the bl in the black and then the white, I remembered how like, the, you know, the left, such good friends and everything in and also, and i mean they're so like, gorgeous i mean everybody's so freaking gorgeous i can't stand it um and then this time they were like without realizing you know fighting each other and stuff and uh it, it was so depressing how he was just like after realizing what he's done he just killed himself and i'm just like oh please don't oh my gosh i can't believe it and how he was sad 
Like, I mean, he was, he was sad. You know, he has to be sad, right? But then he didn't want to really show it. And he would go into his like frenzy, like laughing type of a thing. He's like, Oh, I don't need this. You know, that's, you know, that's not my thing. Like, I am just in here for a revenge that, you know, when I was young and stuff like that, I'm just going to go out there and kill the whole clan type of a thing. So, but again, I feel kind of bad. I don't know, just because of, like, there's that still a little bit of a history of... And, by the way, I was like, what is it, episode 39, I think? I realized something. I'm thinking, if I'm thinking it correct, if I'm... Okay, I'll do it in another episode. We'll talk about that one. All right, so what do you guys think about it? And Joe Chen I did, I think, absolutely amazing job. His voice was absolutely fantastic. And... I mean, it's like you wouldn't expect him to do, like, kind of like for the bad guy and stuff, right? Because he's so soft and sweet and stuff like that. But it kind of matched. It matched. It had a lot of, like, very sad, a little bit of a depressed feel. And, like, and where, you know, this guy, like I said, I kind of relate him, like, to being, like, a child. Still, like, you know, not getting love and stuff like that in Zhou Shen voice. And I'm just like... This is perfect. This is like they literally per they put all the perfect people with the perfect songs, perfect performances. Like everything is spot on, amazing. I cannot get enough of it. I love this. All right. So thank you so much for this great video. To hear more, I'll leave it in the comments below. Double subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you guys never time to miss us. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Tell me if you wanna go sometime Yeah, we could be alone tonight